Greetings, welcome to our first Digital Logic video. My name is Taylor Rowan, I'll be helping you today. So today we're starting out real basic with one of the key concepts um, in understanding Digital Logic when you come to changing bases of numbers. So say for example we have the number 526. Now everyone here who went to primary school understands what this number is and it's 526. You put them together, 526. So but what is this actually saying? So in our normal system, we use a base 10, which is called decimal. All right, so we were taught that there are place values. So where the 6 is, this is the tens place, the 2, the, the tens, excuse me, the 6 is the ones, the 2 is the tens, and the 5 is the hundreds. So, and that just means this. So you have a base 10 to the 0 power. That's the ones place, because 10 to the 0 is 1. And for the 2, your base is 10 to the first power, which is 10. So that's why it's the tens place. And then for 5, as you guessed, 10 to the second power. That's the place value, so it's the hundreds. So if you were to take this, and we already know what this number is, but to figure this out, well, you take this number, 5, and multiply it by its base and the place of value it's in. So we have 5 times 10 to the second power plus... 2 times 10 to the first power plus 6 times 10 to the 0 power. And so 10 to the second is 100. So 500 plus 20 plus 6. We all know what that equals. 526 in the base 10. Now the reason I showed you this is because later on we're going to be changing this base. Say we're going to have a number like this. 10101 one, and that's in base 2. That's binary. Or maybe we'll have 1702 base 8. So this number is not 1702. That is a totally different number and we'll get to that in the next video. Thank you for stopping by and I hope you stay with me.